everyone, it's Karen from the Cat Scrappiness Design Team. And today I'm going to show you how to make a card using the new layered coffee cup die from Cat Scrappiness and the die that says Got Coffee. I've die cut the various pieces of the die using my die cutting machine. For the coffee cup, I used a blue pattern paper. For the coffee cozy, I used a dark blue along with a couple of accents of dark blue for the lid. And for the main part of the lid, I've used white cardstock. I thought the blue cozy was a little plain, so I decided to add the sentiment perk up from the Greeting Farms perk up stamp set onto the blue cozy. I'm using my anti-static tool so that heat embossing powder does not stick to the places that I don't want it to stick to. So here I'm using my Versamark ink to stamp up the sentiment perk up. I stamped the sentiment onto my piece of cardstock, covered it with white embossing powder, and then used my heat gun to melt the embossing powder. Then I just used my finger to wipe off the excess um, powder left by the anti-static tool. I inked up the edges of the Coffee Cozy with some Chip Sapphire Distress ink just to give it a little bit of more dimension so that it stands out better on the coffee cup. Now it's time to assemble the cup, which is an easy process. For the cozy, there's a little notch in the cup so it's easily lined up. Then I use this little strip using my Nuvo adhesive and glued it on at the top of the lid. And then for the lid opening, there's an outline that you put on the opening of the lid, which lines up easy. And then I glued that on top of the lid. And there's your lid. And again, it's easy to line up the top of the lid onto the cup. Now it's time to assemble our card to use our cute little coffee cup on. I'm using some coordinating pattern paper here, and I've cut out two triangles. I'm going to adhere it to this blue cardstock, which is the same blue that I used for the coffee cozy and the details on the coffee lid. And I'm going to map that using this ruler with a 1 16th inch mat on the top and bottom of the triangles. I'm then going to adhere them using my tape runner to a white card panel. Then I will cut off the edges here. And I'm going to mat this panel onto, again, the same blue cardstock using a 1 16th inch of a mat. Now I'm deciding where I put my coffee cup. And then I'm going to use this other new die by Cat Scrappiness that's called Got Coffee. I'm going to place that on the card, get it in the right place, and then use my Nuvo liquid adhesive again to adhere it to the card. I like to use my tweezers when I use uh, intricate dies like this because I think I can place them better on the card. So then for the dot for the question mark, I'm deciding what I want to use. I end up using a white pearl card. Here I'm scoring my gray card base at four and a quarter on the long side of the card. And I'm going to adhere this panel to my card base, making sure I get it right because I have gotten it wrong before and had the card open the wrong way. And then using some foam tape onto the back of the pot coffee cap to give it a little bit of dimension for the card. And then the last thing I do is add that little pearl up for the dot on the question mark for Got Coffee. So that's my card today using the new dies, coffee cup die and the Got Coffee die from Cat Scrappiness. Here's another card I used using the same co cozy and the Got Coffee dies. Here's some close-ups of the cards. I'll have links to the products below. Thanks for stopping by.